Hello everyone, Jared Beck of Beck and Lee in Miami, Florida, uh, here with another video update on the lawsuit that we filed against the Democratic National Committee and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, also known as Wilding versus DNC. Uh, I wanted to provide this video update uh, to address a couple of developments in the case, as well as um, uh, some of the uh, other issues outside of the case that I know people may be interested in. Uh, first of all, um, I'm pleased to report that uh, service of process has been affected on the defendants. Um, I have here uh, two documents which are uh, uh, known as affidavits of service, which are uh, sworn affidavits filed with the court, which come from the uh, process server with one source, Process Inc. in Washington, Washington D.C., uh, which uh, uh, serve as evidence that um, the complaint was served on the defendants. And in fact, we uh, were able to videotape the service of process itself, and uh, we uploaded those videos to our Facebook page. So anybody interested in um, the mechanics of how process of service works in a lawsuit um, might be interested in checking out those videos. Um, under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, there are 21 days uh, within which the defendant has to uh, appear and answer the complaint running from the date of service. And according to the affidavits here, uh, service was effected on July 1st. So at this point, we are still waiting for the defendants to make an appearance and uh, respond to the complaint. And the second uh, a piece of news I have is that uh, we are currently working on and uh, about to finalize and file with the court an amended complaint, and I have a copy right here. Um, the allegations and the claims against the defendants are substantially the same as what we set forth in the original complaint. Um, the only uh, real difference uh, is that uh, we made a decision to remove four plaintiffs for class representatives uh, from the lawsuit who also happened to be Bernie Sanders delegates. And the reason we did that is because after we filed the case, we received word that there may be an effort by the DNC to decredential de uh, Bernie Sanders delegates who uh, were participating in our lawsuit as class representatives. Um, and in decredentialing them, they would be effectively blocked from entering the convention um, and participating as delegates. Uh, so we looked at the issue. I'm personally, I think if that's true, that would be a highly improper uh, attempt to retaliate against a plaintiff for asserting his or her rights in courts. But we looked at the issue and decided uh, that the best course would be to simply file an amended complaint and remove those four class representatives from the case. And so that's what we are in the process of doing. Uh, for those interested in um, the procedural background uh, to this particular amendment, um, the rule of civil procedure which permits us to do this is um, Rule 15A, uh, which states that a party may amend its pleading once as a matter of course within 20 days after serving it. So under 15, Rule 15A, uh, we have what's called a, an amendment as a matter of right, and this complaint um, is our amendment under that rule, uh, which has the, the uh, intention of mooting any argument or grounds that the DNC might try to come up with to try to disqualify somebody uh, from participating in the convention as a delegate uh, simply by virtue of serving as a class action plaintiff. And um, also we took the opportunity to add an allegation um, in the amendment, which I think um, is uh, interesting and noteworthy in that it shows just how much um, support we have for this lawsuit. Um, we've received over um, a thousand uh, retainer agreements from people uh, who uh, wish to actively serve as class member, class representatives in the lawsuit. Um, and not only that, we've received well over 13,000 inquiries from uh, potential class members uh, seeking more information 
about the case. And I can tell you that uh, these kinds of numbers are unprecedented in my uh, experience as an attorney and really uh, indicate um, just the amount of support uh, and uh, uh, the groundswell of um, uh, interest in the claims that we are pursuing against the DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz for, uh, uh, for fraudulent conduct and other related claims based on uh, their failure to uh, be neutral and impartial with respect to uh, all of the uh, candidates for the Democratic nomination. So those are, those are the two uh, updates that I wanted to address with respect to the lawsuit itself. Um, obviously, there was, um, as everybody watching uh, uh, this video probably knows, uh, yesterday there was uh, a uh, big uh, development in the uh, political um, uh, the political scene uh, when Bernie Sanders appeared in New Hampshire with uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, officially endorsed her. Um, I, like many other Bernie Su Sanders supporters, um, I, I, I think like other, a lot of other Bernie Su Sanders supporters, uh, was initially very frustrated by this appearance, um, you know, maybe a little bit angry. I personally felt that uh, Bernie um, should have uh, at least uh, withheld any endorsement uh, through the convention uh, next week. Uh, that said, upon reflection, um, I really can't say that it's a, 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 a bad uh, political decision uh, for Bernie Sanders to endorse now. Obviously, this movement is not just, this progressive movement is not just about Bernie Sanders. It's not about one man. It's about um, everybody who is concerned and interested in political causes um, becoming active and becoming conscious and becoming involved in the political process. And so I think that's always been Bernie Sanders' uh, message from the beginning. Um, I understand that he had a, a conference call with uh, his delegates yesterday in which he made it very, very clear that uh, he wants everybody to show up in Philadelphia, show up at the convention, and continue the fight for the issues that he believes in. So a little bit of disappointing uh, news yesterday, but at the end of the day, um, I think that the movement is alive and well. There's a lot of work to be done, and um, we're going to continue our part um, in this lawsuit uh, to litigate the claims against uh, the DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz that we have on behalf of uh, all of the uh, proposed class members, and we'll keep uh, providing you all with updates as uh, the case progresses and I look forward to uh, getting your comments and questions and hearing from you in various ways whether over email or uh, uh, in social media and we'll be in touch. Thank you for watching.